Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. My name is Elias Castillo and uh, today I want to start planting my garden. I am gardening in Zone 7, Northern Virginia and today is March 1st and I looked at the weather and it looks like it's going to be in the 40s and 50s for the next 10 or so days. So I am hoping that um, the hard frosts are over. Even if we have another hard frost, we'll be all right. Uh, I'm going to be putting in stuff that I can actually take on the frost. So I'm going to be brand, uh, planting broccoli and cabbage and I'm going to be putting those into the ground now. If they make it, that's going to be great because I can get a very early crop of these two things. And if not, that's okay. I have a ton of vegetables that I've started indoors and I'm going to be putting those out in about two weeks. So around uh, uh, March 15th is when I'm going to be putting out more vegetables such as lettuce and collard greens and stuff that can take the cold, cold weather products. And right a month after that, I'm going to be trying to put in my peppers and tomatoes. Although I might wait a little bit longer to see uh, if, um, if there's any frost. So on uh, April 7th, I'm going to be checking the weather. And if it looks like it's going to be pretty warm for the next two weeks, then I'm going to risk it and put in my seedlings for tomatoes and peppers outside on April 15th. But if I look at the weather and it's looking a little cold, I'm going to hold off and then plant them closer to May uh, so that I avoid any die-offs because of frosts. And to be honest, I'm only going to plant one or two of those plants outside and keep the other ones inside until about Mother's Day is when I'm going to plant my stuff outside for sure for the summer. So let's get planting some of these guys. These are actually bought at the big box store. Uh, but like I said, I have about four or five trays inside and I'm, and I'm going to be starting more uh, so that I can have succession planting. Let's get planting. So I'm going to be planting my vegetables here. And I want to spruce up the bed before I put in any vegetables. So I'm going to be adding some compost to the top and then planting my broccoli and, uh, and my cauliflower on the top here. And uh, I'll show you guys when I'm doing that. very cold and windy today so I'm not sure if this is gonna work but here goes nothing Okay, so that's basically it. I've just put in about 12 plants and they are cool weather crops so they should make it for sure. Uh, I don't, it's only a matter of how cold it is the next few days but uh, if they take on we'll have very early crops and then I'll bring you guys back when it's ready. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you follow me for more tips and ideas on how and what to grow in Swan 7 here in Northern Virginia. Have a good one.